bats is fun. This is the village where bats is done. Look for the people that you will meet every time you see them walking down the street. These are the houses and they are known, each by a number all its own. Along to the school gate and back again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Count all the places that you will see. Listen to the stories that there will be. Here in the village where we've begun to find out. Maths is fun. Maths is fun. Hello. I wonder how many people we shall meet in the village today. I can see Mrs. Tapper, the baker. Can you? Here she is. So now there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine people. So our number today will be the number nine. Let's begin with a song all about nine. How many kites? How many kites? How many kites? How many kites must there be? With yours and with mine, there must be nine. Look at them now, and you'll see. Count up to nine, and you will find all of the kites flying free. Did you like that tune? I did. I could almost feel the breeze blowing the kites around. I know someone else who likes music, and we're going to meet him in our story today. The story is called The School Band. Mr. Price liked music. He liked all sorts of music, but most of all, he enjoyed listening to the school band. So when he heard them playing, he went to the classroom window and looked inside. They're playing very well today, thought Mr. Price. Very well, indeed. He liked the word indeed. It made things sound important. Then he remembered that tomorrow was Carnival Day. They were going to march to the village green and give a concert. Today was their last practice. There were nine players in the band. There were three triangles. They were always in front because they were rather quiet. Next, there were three recorders, and at the back were three drums, because they made a lot of noise. Sometimes Miss Roberts had to ask the drummers to play more quietly, because she couldn't hear the triangles at all. Oh dear, they would look a lot smarter if everybody wore the same things, thought Miss Roberts. She noticed they were all wearing jeans, and three of them wore white t-shirts. Does everybody else have a white t-shirt, she asked. They all said yes, but one of the boys said, Mine is white, but it has an elephant on it, miss. I'm sure we can find you one without an elephant, said Miss Roberts. Now, what about hats? Where can we find nine hats? Well, everybody knew the answer to that. At Mr Wilson's stall. Mr Wilson had not had a happy day. He'd only sold two handbags. But when Miss Roberts asked if she could buy nine hats, he very nearly smiled as he put out a big pile of them on the table. There were hats with feathers, fur hats, straw hats, and a funny hat with a bird on top. Mr Wilson liked birds. At last, Miss Roberts had time to explain that she wanted nine hats all alike for the school band. Mr. Wilson shook his head. 
I don't even have two hats which are the same, he said gloomily. Well, said Miss Roberts, if we can't buy nine hats, we shall have to make them. There was plenty of coloured paper and cardboard in the classroom. Soon they were hard at work, cutting nine cardboard strips, which they bent over into circles. Then they glued the ends together, and they decorated them with coloured paper. Miss Roberts cut nine stars from gold paper and stuck one on each hat. They did look smart. When they marched through the village the next day, everybody cheered and clapped. At the front came the big drum and then two small drums. Behind them, on one side, were the three triangles and on the other, the three recorders. In front of them, to make sure that the way was clear, was Mr Price. He felt very important, very important indeed. Then an awful thing happened. The sun was so hot that the glue on the hats started to melt and soon they began to fall apart. Farmer Dunn had lent his biggest wagon to make a platform for the band. The triangle stood on one side, the drums were in the middle, and the recorders stood on the other side. Miss Roberts conducted the band, and Mr Price thought he had never heard them play better. But they didn't feel they had proper uniforms without their hats. Then Mr Wilson arrived. I'm sorry I wasn't able to find nine hats all the same colour, but I did manage to order these, if you'd like them as a present. There were three yellow hats for the recorders, three red hats for the drums, and three blue hats for the triangles. Nine hats for the band. Oh, thank you very much, said Miss Roberts. Very smart, said Mr Price. Very smart, indeed. Very nice, said Mr Wilson. Very nice. I think Mr Price enjoyed the carnival, don't you? And didn't the band look smart in those new hats? You know, I've always wanted to play a drum in a school band. And now's my chance. Tell you what, when I beat, let's all count. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But there's another way to play nine beats. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This time, I'll play the beats and you count. Here we go. Or you could play nine beats like this. You could do three loud beats, and three soft beats, and three loud beats again, like this. Ooh, I did enjoy that. I'd like to play some more, but I think I'm making too much noise, so I'd better stop. Let's have a look at all the instruments that were in the school band. There they are. There were three drums. One, two, three. And there were three triangles. One, two, three. And there were three recorders. One, two, three. All together, there were nine instruments in the school band. And I'd like to play them all. And I'm sure you would too. See you soon. Bye bye. Three is four, five, six, fun, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 